Hello everybody, it's Lindy Tate from Tater Buggin'. Come on in, we're gonna take stuff that you've got probably all around your house and try to transform it into one pretty new piece. Um, if you follow my post, you may have seen the post for the uh, little relish jar, I think it was a little relish jar. Um, let's get everything going here, make sure I can see comments, and uh, if you're watching on replay, say hello, let us know where you're from, if you're new, whatever, just let us know you were here, we'd love to welcome you if you're new, if you're watching later on YouTube, and you want to fast forward through all of the hellos to get right to the crap, do that, that's perfect. We would love for you to like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you get a notification when we upload our videos. So is anybody here today? I don't have any comments at all. I see eyeballs, lots of eyeballs coming in, but I don't have any comments. Ah, huh? there we are. Hey, Cindy. <laughs> yeah, do you hear the rain? We've had rain all day, so it's kind of like, I'm not even going to try to tame it. I'm just going to let it do its thing. So, yeah, and I had to run out while it was still, I got in between these showers. It's coming down pretty good right now, but I see hearts floating up, but the only comment I saw was Cindy. Is anybody else here? Y'all come on in. Say hello if you're here. Or am I having technical difficulties? Let me try refreshing, because I've got to be able to see your comments. Let's see. Oh, there y'all are. Oh, good. I was going to say, really? Is, is, so, Cindy's the only one that's going to talk to me today. Uh, so, let's see what I missed. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, gosh, I missed a lot. Vicki and Regina, Cindy and Trish is here. Hey, Trish. Glenda and Lisa. Hey, friends. Hey, Michelle and Carol and Lori. Hey, Lori. Janice uh, says, need your spelling. Oh, Janice, another one. I am so sorry. I am so sorry for your loss. Well, we'll try to be an hour's worth of a little bit of happiness for you, I hope. Hey, Angie and Penny. Hey, Trudy. BJ, I'm glad you're here. I haven't seen you in a while. Lori Lulu's here, the birthday girl from Tuesday. Hey, Kathy. Oh, and there's Terry. Oh, I'm so glad you're here too, Angie. Hey, Chris. Yes, it's been a while for you too. Is everybody just kind of taking this chill week? Is that, you know, we're, our numbers are kind of up. I'm getting to see people I don't normally see. Maureen's here. Sandra. Yes, I had technical difficulty. Maybe I'm still having technical. No, they're still coming up. There's Manny. Hey, Manny. Sound is cutting in and out. Hey, Leanne. Happy almost New Year, yes. Oh, I just love you too, Lori. You're so sweet. <laughs> um, I wonder if it's the rain. Y'all hear it? It's raining. All right. Hey, Germaine. Hello, hello. I went on and gave our little jar, relish jar, a coat of um, black chalk paint. I just have this little folk art chalk paint in black that's almost empty. Hey, Linda from Franklin, Tennessee, one of my favorite places. It's so beautiful there. Hey, Judy, thank you. And there's Barb. How are you today, Barb? No chill week here with packing to move. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm glad you're taking a break to be here and hang out with us. Thank you for the stars, Judy. You're always so sweet to do that. Uh, Leanne wants somebody to post a link to the interview. It is on my tater bugging page. Um, if, if I, I don't think I can grab it right now. Hey, Carol. Yeah, flood warnings, Minnie. It is coming down good now. We're supposed to have like three days of rain. Cold. It got, it was very, very cold. And then it warmed up yesterday. You could actually go outside. It felt really good. And now this. Thus sign of stuff. Uh, it is on YouTube and it's on my tater bugging page. If you click that takes you right to Andrea's YouTube interview. Not seeing all the comments. I had to refresh. Now I'm getting the comments. Wait, Ruth. Ah, oh, happy birthday, Ruth. Message me and let me know uh, if you would like to have, I'd love to gift you one of our art, my art classes from our online shop. 
you can cruise through there and see what you might want to, to do and let me know. Send me a PM and I will send you the link for a happy birthday. Oh, there's Cindy got the link for you there. Okay, there you go, Leanne. Patty, hello. Hello, Cena. Happy Thursday. You hit 60 today, Rita. Well, we're we're tumbling again. Thank you, Lori. This is uh oh. Is this Belle Lily or Fairy Season? I think this is Fairy Season. This is one of my favorites. Carol, hi. Thank you so much for the stars. Uh, okay. I just like I sit here and just, you know, chat with y'all. Um, I got candles for my sons for one of their Christmas gifts. Um, Chris likes to have one in his studio. And um, I think Josh likes to have them too. And they're really unique. They're handmade. It's a um, small business that uses craft beer bottles for their for the jar. They're cut off and they're masculine scents. But what I'm saying all that to say this, is the box that it came in, I have nabbed Chris's because it's that wonderful corrugated cardboard. Um, not too, too thick, but thick enough. And I just took one of the panels and um, kind of tore it tore it down so that we can adhere it to this jar for some texture. This is going to be a, a different kind of mixed media piece. So I would, I just want to tear it around the edges. I don't want the straight, you know, lines because you know how I am about that. Hello, Vonda. It's your first time. Welcome. I am so happy you're here. I hope, I hope you'll enjoy uh, what we do enough to stay and uh, maybe give us a follow. We do a little bit of everything around here, but mostly just try to have a good time. And I just love to try new things with y'all. And this is kind of new for me. Hey, Susie. Um, this, all of this is going to get covered up. But um, it's going to give what I'm hoping will be some really cool texture. And um, we'll transform this little jar that you would have probably thrown away into a pretty, maybe decor piece. Might be a piece that you could um, put on your vanity to hold Q-tips or cotton balls. Hey, Arlene. That's another name I hadn't seen in a while. Not yet, Rita. Been a slow season for him. Um, and this weekend, it's just going to be too rainy, so it'll be another week before he goes back. Our heat gun or hair dryer helps him. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's a good good um, tip. I always just score it with my, um, my scissors because I like to have some of it still there, if that makes sense. But right now, I'm just wanting to um, just tear the edges so they're not all straight edges. Hey, Judy. I love playing with jars, too. Darn Facebook. I'll have to catch you on replay. Oh, Lori, I'm sorry. I just used chalk paint. Uh, if you want to, I washed it real good. Um, you can take an alcohol wipe or just a cotton ball with alcohol on it for glass. Sometimes I'll do that. It, it'll help the uh, paint adhere better. I forgot to do that today, I'll be honest. And I just uh, hit it with one coat of chalk paint. I just want this to be my undercoat. So now I want to see how long I want this piece. Because I'm thinking, uh, I don't know that I want it quite that big. Let's let's tear this down because you know I'll be using this in my, any little pieces I'll use it in my artist trading cards. We're having so much fun, y'all. I gotta tell you, we're having so much fun. Oh, she loves her necklace. Oh, Trish, did you hear that? Hey, Becky. Oh, you're having a nice day. I bet this rain's headed your way. Oh, see their apartment. They live on campus. Oh, that's so wonderful. Hey, Natalie. Hello, Mel. All right, now, what I think I wanna do is I'm going to use my, I have stuff everywhere. <laughs> I'm going to use some B7000 
You could use white school glue, and I'm going to use a little hot glue for instant hold. And let's just see how this is going to, how this will do. Thank you, Sharon. How are you today? Let's see. Um, kind of put the, the B7000 kind of in the middle. This will be my lasting hold. And then the uh, hot glue will be the instant hold. Y'all know that already, I'm sure. And I've the, the, what I'm doing today, I've never done before. I'm trying it live. I don't. I hadn't practiced. I don't know, because y'all know that's kind of how I tend to roll. I just see something that inspires me, and I want to figure out a way to do it myself. And I usually will just bring y'all in on it. And then if I make any mistakes along the way on it, you'll see what not to do if you do this. Oh, that. See, I, I took both sides of the solid part off so that it would bend more easily. And it cracked as I um, bent it. Yes, Mr. T is here. Thank you, Dawn. And I love, I love the cracks in it. That's going to be perfect for what we're going to do. All right, now I want to start building up on this. This is just our base layer. Um, let me put some stuff on either side so it doesn't roll. This is the fun part. I've got a bunch of goodies up under here that we're just going to use. I don't know how it'll all work. I thought I might start with some little flowers up in the corner. And don't get upset about all the different colors because we're going to paint over the whole thing. Mr. T's actually here, Barb. He came home yesterday. Thank you, Melissa. You're so sweet. Hey, Ratonia. Haven't seen you in a while. Rita, the biggest difference that I know of is this pen in the cap and this um, fine tip. I don't know if it's the exact same stuff, but they renamed it because they had this great idea. Whoever thought that up is brilliant. So, but you can only get it on Amazon right now. I have these other flowers that I just pulled out of my stash. There's a little black rose. Again, what we're going for now is texture. Do y'all recognize that? Where's my kid? Where am I? This is the one of my little flowers made out of pixie dough, and I had already painted it with sterling. I was playing with it for something else, um, so we're going to see. That may be on there because that's wonderful texture. That's a great pop. Yes, it is, isn't it, Dawn? Oh, that's okay. He's not in here right now. He's in the other room, but you know he'll pop, probably pop in. Now, on these little paper flowers, I love that they have the little beads in the middle. This is what we're looking for. Um, so if you wanna do this project, look for textures. Don't worry about colors. I'm just pulling up the uh, pa uh, petals. You could technically cut these out of little pieces of cardboard. You know, if you wanted to cut your own flowers out, just do two layers and kind of bend them up. I just want to see how this is going to look. We're going to put those there. And then, in fact, I think I'm just going to go on and start gluing down. Why not? This is a, a fun experiment. We're just going to go for it. Just go for it. So we'll have little bits of this cardboard peeking out too for that texture underneath. Okay, now we're gonna start building up. We've got gears. So it'll be a little steampunkish. Hello, Teresa. Yeah, everybody's wishing Ruth a happy birthday. Ooh, this is fun. All right, now let's let's start gluing on some pieces. Hey, Susan. I'm going to start tucking here and there. It's 
cut a little piece of plastic greenery. I'll have it poking out too. Hey, Michelle, how are you doing? Hey, Carol. see where I want that to be. Oh, that's kind of fun. Here's what we've got so far. We're just going to add, add, add all the way around. And that's just really going to come on down. I don't know how long this is going to take or how tedious it will be. That's why I didn't want to do it during a... Uh, a live that I had a time limit on. <laughs> oh, he did, Barb. Whole bag of jars and he didn't throw them out, did he? I hope not. Oh, good. Hey, Becky. Yes, Barb, you're ahead of me. It's almost a new year. Can you believe it, I, Robin? I know. Oh, let's just, oh, this is what I want to do. How about a little cheesecloth? I have this sitting out here. Let's just, that makes wonderful texture. And it's all stringy and I love that. Webby. Is that a word? So let's maybe wad this up right down here at this end. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, have you decided what you're going to be doing with them yet, Barb? Going to make all kinds of beautiful things, I'm sure. Okay. Oh, that's fine. It is, Carol. Can you hear it? Oh, thank you, Susan. Y'all are sweet to say that. I, uh, I kept, <laughs> every time I pass a mirror, I think, Yeah, oh, Lindy, you probably should have straightened it today, but when the weather's like this, I don't know. It's kind of fruitless. All right, I want to, I had all these possibilities. Oh, no, that's pretty, too. Let me, let me see here what we've got. I've got this little metal hope. And I think that would be fun right there. We'll, we'll build around that. I think the key is going to be a little too big. I could use one of these smaller keys. That's pretty. So it's a little bit of steampunk. It's a little bit of um, feminine. Because, you know, that's kind of a... Two things that don't quite seem to go together, but we're making them go together. Uh, I'm looking for fun texture here. your first bell lily today so what do you think susan i got to see i hope cindy doesn't mind me saying this she got her bell lily i think it was yesterday and i got to see what all she ordered and it was so fun and i loved it she you know it was all stuff that i had seen online but i don't have any of it so I, i'd love to see what you um what you ordered what else did i put under here let me see no, none of that. Okay. Here's our key on here. Art and Grace, thank you so much. Hey, my sweet friend. Thank you, thank you. 
Crazy Mom Creations. I love it. Thank you for sprinkling. I appreciate that. Let's put a fun little gear right down here. Anchor that again. And this is going to look, I think, I think it's going to look totally different when we get it all finished because it's all going to be painted. <laughs> Never tried this before, y'all. Okay, so we got gears. We've got a little leaf. Um, what else? I want to put... I don't need another um, key. Let's put, let's tack a few more little gears right in here. Oh, did you, Susan? What a great idea. I hope they'll all enjoy them. Love my Bell Lily stuff. Um, I've got another order coming from uh, Fairy Season 2. I really enjoyed them. It should be here soon. So I have some cute new stuff to show y'all from there as well. Yeah, oh, the, yes, Deb's um, X's and O's. So cute. Oh, those are some talented ladies. Did you see my post about this Sunday's um, event? I hope y'all will be able to watch. We're building up. We're building up. We're getting there. Uh, maybe one more teeny tiny. I had some other stuff out, but I don't think I'll use that now. Kind of thought about using a piece of this um, book page that's curled, but now I don't know. I don't want to get too out of control with it. We'll save that for another one. I've got other pieces for another one. Save your jars. Maybe I'll put another little sprig of stem of uh, leaves coming out from behind here. Maybe not. Maybe not. I have to eyeball it. I think I'm just going to do, I think I'm going to go for that. Let's see how this works. Okay, make room. Get out our black paint. And hope this doesn't take too long. And I'm probably going to use... Um, what brush? Because I got to get in nooks and crannies here. Let me see about this one. It is pitch dark. This looks like nighttime now. So you can see, you could go all around the house and just look for things that have texture. Doesn't matter the color because we're gonna we're gonna take all the color away, and then we're gonna put color back. Oh, thank you, Sharon. Good. Let's see how it's gonna look. I really hope it's gonna look okay once we do all the things to it. All right, I'm gonna get this. Hope that I've got enough black paint left. I'm gonna get some black chalk paint. And we're just going to coat everything, everything with black. Like I said, um, I don't really technically know what I'm doing here, but I saw a picture. It inspired me, and I thought, I want to try that. And isn't that what it's all about? Get in your room and zone out. And if you've got, you know, 146 friends that will come hang out with you and talk to you, it's even better. And just start playing and see what you can do.
because I've got layers. I've got layers of this that I want to do. So you know, trying to find where to sign up for your private group. It is, if you go to extras in our taterbuggin.myshopify.com, if you go to extras and you look up Tater Talk, it should be, I think, on the first page. Um, and I'll tell you now is a great time to get in because we have started an artist trading card swap. It's not too late. It's never too late. And I have done some fun, recent fun lives where I show you some tips and tricks on how to start prepping your cards. And um, you can prep a whole bunch at one time. So when you sit down, you know, you can just start start creating and um it's just a fun we have a it's a tight-knit little group of sweet ladies and we have fun okay now i'm gonna turn this around and show you how it looks so far <laughs> so far it's this is working the way i was hoping believe it or not so you're taking away all the color and you're just seeing the texture of all the pieces that you put on there. That's why it really doesn't matter. You just want to anchor, kind of anchor both ends and have some interest in the middle. Textures, and that's why I put that um, cardboard down. I'll tell y'all something I used to do. This was a long time ago. If I had, I had done a painting one time on, it was either a canvas panel or a heavy paper. I can't remember which it was. And I wanted to frame it, but I wanted it to be a little more interesting. So I took a, a piece of cardboard flat that was larger than my painting and tore it down just like I did this piece. And I mounted my painting onto that, and it, so it was the mat in the background, and then the frame on top. It was so fun. I loved it so much. So if you ever, you know, that's always an inexpensive um, way you can mat something, a piece of artwork. You can do a lot with cardboard. It's just a fun texture. Just gave me a crazy idea to add aqua and teal. I missed the whole thing. That's as far as I got uh, aqua and teal. Um, Cause stick with me. Y'all know I love those colors. And see, you can even we're gonna see this stuff better at the end, but it's it's coming along just like I wanted it to. Trust the process. <laughs> yeah, y'all hang with me. I promise. I promise. He has been feeling okay. And y'all, um, I'm having to move my very first, um, I had my first segment in Craft Round the Clock was this coming Tuesday at 4.30. And um, they called last night and he has end his endoscopy Tuesday. So I have moved it to Monday. So next week's going to be It'll be a really busy week. I'll be on a good bit, but I won't necessarily be at my normal time. So make sure you're following my page and um, keeping up with where I am and when, because it's going to be a little bit funny week next week. But there's a lot of fun stuff going on, so you don't want to miss that. And I know y'all are going, Lindy, you had all those pretty elements, and you covered them in black. I'm going to fix it. Thank you, Michelle. I'm excited about it, too. I've always adored Tracy. I think she is just fantastic. And um, so I wanted to I wanted to try new things this year. And the opportunity arose, and I got to talk with her. And I'm so excited to be a part of Craft Around the Clock. So it's, and see, right now I, I can't remember my time on Monday, but be watching. I'm going to post all about it. And my time's Sunday as well. All right. It looks like a dark, scary mess right now. But it's not gonna. 
It's not gonna stay that way. Make sure I don't have any little, yeah, see little peak bits of uh, color peeking out. We just, we want that gone for now. And we wanna add our own color and make this cohesive. go. You think so, Gail? Yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited. Uh, yeah, uh, Tracy always posts the daily schedule, which is just perfect. Okay, now, white glue. We are going to crackle the jar. Uh, but not this part, not the wet part. Um, brush, 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 brush. I don't know if this one's small enough. Because I've got to get around. Let's try this, maybe. Are these clean enough to put some? Yes. I'm going to put a little glue in one of my little, um, paint holders on my silicone mat that I love so much. That's enough, that's enough, that's enough. Thank you, Michelle. I appreciate that. I really do. Hey, Patricia. All right. Let's, we're going to crackle the jar. just right up to our embellishments. Messy. Oh, I'm sorry he hasn't had it yet. No. If you're talking about Mr. T, no, his endoscopy is going to be on Tuesday. They rescheduled on him. Well, actually, no, they rescheduled uh, the CT. He's had that. Everything was great there. Um, and so they're doing an endoscopy just to make sure everything's okay. I'm not going to worry so much about this part because we'll have the lid. Mm. It's messy. Y'all know I, I am, I'm not an expert crackler. I've only crackled a few times, maybe two or three. So, but I wanted this effect because it goes so well with the way this piece is supposed to look. Now, I just, you know, I'm just doing black. Y'all don't have to do black. Pick out whatever color you want underneath, but the way mine's gonna turn out, I needed black to be the base color, or I wanted it to be. Let's, let's hope for the best there. Let me go on and put some on <clears throat> the lid. Thank y'all so much. Betty's here. Oh, I'm glad you could. Did you get enough rest? That wasn't enough rest, Betty. I know you're needing it. And you sure don't need to get sick. Hey, Gwen. Gwen. That's okay. <clears throat> That's okay. This may be another one of those Lindy harebrained ideas. I'm trying something I've never done before. <clears throat> we'll see how it turns out. But if nothing else, maybe it'll give y'all ideas. 
And if I do something wrong, you'll know not to do it that way because you will remember Lindy did it wrong. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, let's see here. Let me walk my little jar right over here. Now I need to decide the top color. I was thinking white, which I still think I might do. Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm gonna stay with white. That's what I forgot to get out, y'all. Let me let me get out the white. It's Dina here. Hey, sweet Dina. Oh, I've got black all over me. I appreciate you stopping by. Crackled my master closet island and laundry room countertop for the new house. I want to see pictures. Oh, I would have been scared to death, too. That's a big project. I want to see pictures, Lori. Uh, message me. I'd love to see that. Okay, here we go. Let's just do this. Again, you know, I'm going for grungy anyway. I want it to look kind of yucky and believe it or not, that's really what I want it to look like. This is uh, just a fun mixed media uh, trash to treasure, hopefully, kind of situation. And I loved your little Valentine's project. Oh my goodness. I don't usually get to see much um, live because I go to bed. <laughs> and uh, I get so tired and um, I, I wake up in the morning and usually around, you have posted and I think, oh my gosh, that's the cutest thing. Oh, y'all, cross your fingers for me that this looks like anything. Right now, I know it does not. But maybe, maybe, maybe. I'm putting this on. This has kind of gotten thick anyway. And that's too big a brush for this top. I know, Barb, but I wasn't ready yet. I know, you know, people like Dina, she has to get that stuff out because, you know, she sells it. So you've got to have time to, you know, order and make your own. Um, I, I'm just, you know, I feel like, well, just finished Christmas. I haven't, you know, gotten into that yet. But then I went, I had to run to Dollar Tree today for glue sticks of all things. And um, they had, I've never seen them before, but the, and they didn't have many. So I don't know if they're just now putting them out or if a bunch of people just bought them up. But the little Christmas trees, they've got pink ones for Valentine's. And I had to have it <laughs> so I can put it in my background. I didn't have a Christmas tree, but boy, I'm going to have that little pink tree it was so cute oh i gotta do the lid all right let me just go on and do the lid real quick i always love uh dina and kenny singing always let's do this lid
Ooh, this is messy. I saw her post about her blog. I've got to go over there and see it. I haven't had a chance to go over there today, but I want to go see that. Have y'all chosen your um, word for this year? I have two this year. Messy's always fun, Mary. It really is. It really is. I love to choose words for the year. I, I never was big on... Um, um, resolutions, but uh, I love choosing a word a year. Is it going to work? Oh, my little leaves are curling up. Oh, there comes some. Oh, it's working. All right. Oh, I love it. Big good cracks. Cracks and crackles. I love that, Dina. Not doing too bad on time either. Hey, Carrie. That's all right. You've been in a, what have you been doing? In a trance? That's all I can see there. <laughs> Good crack of lacking. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> My two words, um, I've got pause, and that, that one came to me clearly, and, um, well, so did soar, S-O-A-R, um, so, I'm really, 2023, come on now, be good to us, okay? Oh, Michelle, that's, I understand that. I understand that. We're going to let it do its thing down there. Let me see what this lid's going to do. And then get on with some pretty stuff. Make it pretty. The next step, hopefully, is going to make it pretty. I need that, Michelle. I, it, it speaks to me. Um, it really does. And I, I've needed, I just need to pause. Sometimes. The lid's doing some good cracking. Um, Parts of this did better than others, but uh, I think it's going to be good. I think it'll be good. Now, I got out some pretty um, liquid pixie dust colors. We've got our um, white pearl sterling blush. You know, I love that one. And statuary. We want to start bringing out all those pre all these pretty metallics to make it look like it's um, metal 
All right, now let's see. Let me think this through. I think I want to start with... I'm going to start with the white sand real quick. I'm, I'm just... This is where I'm really playing. I don't really have any clue what I'm doing here. And I've got some wax. I've got metallic paste. I don't know. We're just going to... That's a good one, Debbie. That's a real good one. Janice, I think that you I think that's awesome for you. Peace. You know what? Let's see what this would look like. Oh yeah. Okay. I might do a little bit of this on the actual jar. So I want to bring some of these metallics onto the jar and um, where you can really see that crackle too. I'm just going to, I'm playing. I don't know, I don't know how this is going to work. Mm. Let's try something else. Where is it? This Firebird, um, metallic wax uh, by Art Alchemy. I'm just going to put a little bit out onto my silicone pad here and take a little brush and see what happens. Oh, oh, that's pretty. I need a, uh, I need a uh, teal or turquoise wax. this up to show you. How that's looking. Yeah, just just listen. Uh, yeah, I've got a pixie dough mold in here. This little flower is a pixie dough mold, actually. Uh, the rest were things, you know, that I have around here. I kind of want to... Uh, okay, let's... This is... Let me dry brush this across. Oh, yeah. What do you think? So it comes out, they're looking like, um, well, they're looking metallic. I think I want to pull in some statuary next. And see how it looks with this uh, firebird. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, let me try a little bit of this on here. Oh, that's pretty. I'm just experimenting. Do y'all ever just get in your supplies and start playing around to see what they'll do? <laughs> uh, Gwen, I use hot glue, but underneath you'll see I have a piece of cardboard. And so that's my base that everything's actually on. And it's got uh, V7000 on it and hot glue. So, hey, Dolly, are you back home yet? You home. Okay, good. Dolly's back home. Good thing you're just getting here. You'd have told me how crazy I am. Carly, are you talking about this? I hope so. This is fun. Janice, I love the paint pixie, uh, this liquid pixie dust. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. Now this is statuary. Again, y'all know I'm just playing. You can compare it and see. Because we can mix metals. We can get some silver in here. Look how pretty. The, I put the statuary on the heart. That's very pretty. 
And so the cheesecloth now, of course, is really hardened with all that paint on it and leaves a fun, fun texture. And I think I'll end up painting the whole jar. Um, we may go crazy and get out a um, something like a blue Java banana. Is my, why is my phone? It's saying low battery. Hold on. Let me see if I'm unplugged somewhere because I thought I was plugged in. Yup. Oh, I think it was pulled out a little bit. Sorry. Maybe it was pulled out a little bit. Let's see. If I disappear, you'll know why. And I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, let's test out. Let's test out the sterling on here. Since we're just playing and having fun. And then, you, <laughs> Dolly, I took a relish jar. You'll have to watch what I'll, I've got lots of layers on here. Then crackle. I painted everything black. Nobody knew what on earth was going on in my head. You know how I do sometimes. Okay. I just have to experiment sometimes. And you could take um, any one of these metallics and then do it all across the top, you know, so it'll get into the cracks and everything. And um, it'll just like, it'll look like a metal jar, you know? It's whatever vibe you're going for. So that's why I want you to see all the different ones and then you can decide, oh, I like that or I would rather mine be all one metallic color. And so this, now this rose is going to look silver. You could do this with um, old jewelry findings, costume jewelry. Just put little pieces of it on. Oh my goodness, look at that sterling. Look how pretty. I kind of just want to paint everything that sterling. I think it'd be great on a can, Gwen. You always wonder that, Dolly. Y'all don't ever know when you get on here what, what Lindy's going to do today. Oh, I think I want to do it all in the sterling. Mercy, that's pretty. Now let's bring out that little pixie dough flower right there. Watch that pop. Pretty. Let's. I don't know if this is gonna work, y'all. Let me let me just try something here. This is a total experiment. So. And you know what? If if it turns out looking like something that you don't like, it's a jar. You know what I mean? You haven't gone out and bought a bunch of supplies. Um, and wasted your money. That's why I say use what you have on hand for something like this, especially. And then, you know, if, if you love this enough, you could then find a beautiful glass vase that you love the, the color of. Get a bottle. Um, one thing I want to do is get out a bigger bottle and try this technique. Use some pixie dough um, and mold it the way I want to, you know, and adhere it to the bottle and then paint over the whole thing. I think that would be so much fun. That's, that's on my, I want to do list. Okay. So we want it. We want to see those edges of the cardboard because, you know, we sat there and tore every edge painstakingly, so we want to see it. That's why we did it. Oh, that's so fun. Um, my, I, I'm going to get some of the uh, gold 
metallic next because these metallics have blown me away at their coverage. You only need one coat. Y'all saw that on the um, frame that I redid. But I'm definitely going to um, paint the rest of this bottle now that it's crackled and dried because I want to. Get that color all down in there. And now I can see the little bits of the um, cardboard and that texture. So it almost looks like one metal piece that you just soldered onto the side of it. Josie or Jane here, they gotta see this. I just keep adding projects. I'm telling you, I do too. I do too. So that cheesecloth on the end ends up looking like aluminum foil <laughs> that's all crunched up. That's kind of cool. Okay, let me finish it. Almost done here, and then I'm going to hold it up and see what y'all say. And then we're going to paint this jar. That's pretty cool. So that we get the jar back to look in um, monochromatic. What am I trying to say? I don't want it to look too toned. I just want you to see the crackles. So then if you wanted to add hints of um, wax on top of this, once it dries, just little bits and pieces here and there, I've got to get some of that uh, turquoise or teal wax because I think that would look really fun in places. But you're just going for a, a metallic look. You want to be able to see the individual pieces that you put on there, but they all look like one big metal piece, if that makes sense. Do y'all like it? Yeah, it was white chalk paint. And I'm not I'm not crazy about the look, so I'm going I'm gonna um, go pull a color and let's paint the rest of the, the jar and see how it looks and we'll paint the top and put a knob on it and call it. Let's see. Um, how about, I love how these work together. We've got blue java banana and sugared glass. Let's, let's see what happens. How about that? And it's hot in here. Because it's a creating frenzy, right? We're just creating. I told y'all I didn't know how on earth this was going to turn out, but I will make it pretty. Where do you get the bits and pieces you put on? Um, I encourage you to look in your um, your old uh, costume jewelry, jewelry that you don't wear anymore. Uh, you don't necessarily have to go out and buy anything, but if you want to... Um, these little gears, metal gears you can find on Amazon, they have bags of gears, they have bags of keys, and they have bags of clocks. And my sweet friend Debbie Robertson from Crafting and Grace, uh, several months ago, bought all three packets and divided them up and gave me this combination of all three. And I have used them and used them. This little piece was an earring from a friend's mother. She didn't want it anymore. You could cut the back off of that. That could easily be one of your pieces. Um, I used things like plastic uh, greenery, uh, paper flowers. You can use, I always save the little bits and pieces of uh, floral. 
for projects like this because once you paint them, they're going to look um, metallic. They're going to look the whatever color you put on them. So um, I just, I'm a big proponent of using what you've got if you can. Okay. Uh, I was about to say, where's my paper plate? <laughs> Henry Ford, when they pushed us around in wheelchairs because the electric scooters were all gone. Oh, how fun, Dolly. What kind of paint that is. This is Paint Pixie, magical chalk paint. Uh, I have a link in my um, link tree uh, on my, at the top, of, pinned to the top of my page. I have fallen in love with their products. So help me, I have. <laughs> Um, and I understand, you know, I'm an affiliate with them, but I still would be using these paints. I'm in love with these paints. These are the magical chalk paints. Um, this is a little liquid pixie dust is what they call their, uh, metallics. Um, so far I have not received one thing that I didn't love. I love their pixie dough. I love their molds. The brushes are out of this world. And y'all know, I know my brushes cause I, I paint all the time. Hey, Laurie. Absolutely, Barb. You can go to the Dollar Tree and get these um, puffy stickers. They have them in um, letters. You don't have to break the bank. It's, it's all up to you how much you want to spend. But I keep these things on hand. Um, there's some butterflies. And dragonflies, I have a thing about dragonflies and their symbolism. Um, but once you paint these onto a project, you know, it just becomes part of it. So think of think in terms of texture, like I used a piece of just a blob of cheesecloth, cardboard. Uh, you can use a lot of things around the house. Rita, I don't know. I think it's my sinuses, but I am getting stopped up. It's about this time of day, every day, and in the morning. This morning, I sounded awful, but I think it's just this weather. We're just going to play here now. Yeah, puffy stickers, and you can get their um, Dollar Tree puffy letters, and you could write, create, um, hope. Use your word of the year. That's what I need to do is write out sore. That would be fun. All right, let's 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 see what this looks like now. I don't have any clue what this is gonna look like. And you have tons of them, Carol? Yeah, it's, once you paint them, you know, it doesn't matter if they have little, if they're pink or purple or whatever. Um, once you paint them, give them a good coat of black like I did and just kinda uh, take that color away and then go back over the top of them. Voila, brand new. I so need help with the word of the year. Now I gotta help Barb with her word of the year. Really, what you need to do is get quiet and uh, I don't know, talk to God about it. I mean, it, he practically knocked me over the head with my two for this coming year. Hey Diane from Armory, Mississippi. I, yeah, Rita, I think I'm going to have to do that. Do a soar with the butterflies and the dragonflies. Y'all know this is my color. So let's see how this is going to look on top of all of this. And I'm just going to very carefully go around what looks like my metal, metallic part. Oh, that's yummy. So we'll get the texture still on the jar. See, you don't, if something doesn't work out, just go over it. Don't give up on it. Sometimes y'all, I will work on a project and it's not making me happy. And I've done this, y'all know I've told you with paintings. If it's just frustrating you, um, Set it aside for 24 hours, but put it somewhere where you can see it as you're going about your day. You'll walk by it. You'll see it from a different angle. You'll glance at it across the room. Take a picture of it on your phone. Um, dedicate. I love that, Becky. 
Um, chances are in 24 hours, you're either going to fall in love with it or you'll see what it is that's bugging you about it and then just fix it. I've done that a million times. And rarely is it something that, you know, I just hate so bad I can't fix it. But if it's a painting, like if you did this jar and you hated the whole thing, let it sit for a while. Come back, paint the whole thing. Spray paint it if you want to. But it's so funny how looking at it from a different angle um, will, you know, help you see what it is you don't like about it. With my paintings, you know, uh, I used to sit it across the room from where my recliner is. So when I was sitting there, I'd have to look up at it across the room. Nine times out of ten, I could figure out what it was that I didn't like about it. Or I'd realize, you know what? <laughs> that's, that's not bugging me anymore. I kind of like that. See, this still isn't. Let's see what happens if I go over the top of this while it's still wet. I don't know. I'm just playing. I want to play with this daggum jar till I like it. <laughs> this is my first attempt at this te technique. And um, so hopefully I'll improve on it. I've learned a lot. Y'all think it's pretty? Uh... Or are you just being nice? That's kind of fun. All right, I don't hate that. These colors, uh, that's another thing, another reason I really love paint pixie uh, magical chalk paints. Um, I have yet to find two colors that don't play well together. And one thing I always tend to do is when I, like, probably will do it on this one. When this dries, I'll take the white sand and go over the top of it. Um, in fact, it doesn't even have to dry first. My low battery's coming back on. I don't know why. Um, but it gives it the most beautiful shimmer. And it just looks so good. With, it, I've, I've loved it on every color I've ever put it on. And so when you get paints that work well together, that, um, you know, that's a big deal. You get more bang for your buck. You make fun colors with them. And when you order, they give you the option to, you can order the 8-ounce or the 2-ounce. So I start with the little 2-ounce to see what I like best before I get the larger one. Um, and so far, <laughs> I'm in trouble because I love all of them. I have not found one I don't like. Honest to Pete. That's kind of pretty, don't y'all think? I'm liking that. Let's sit that there. Let's see what we can do with this lid. And I'll put a little bit of that uh, white sand on top of this jar so it'll be kind of shiny like the metal. And we'll pop the, the uh, knob on it. How am I doing? Oh my goodness, I've gone way over. Oh lordy. I know y'all probably got to go. I knew this one had the potential to take longer than an hour, so. All right. I do too. I like it better blue, Vicky. I do. Um, I'm going to be honest. I, I think part of what I didn't like is I think that my Waverly White has gotten way too thick. I should have used my handmade, um, homemade white chalk paint from Miss Gale. Because I think that would have been a lot prettier. Okay, 
white sand. Thank you, Jermaine. Yeah, retro is so in. You're right. All right. Oh, see, now that just brings it all together with the silver. <gasps> oh, pretty. My little relish jar ended up being kind of pretty. And this white sand is just very sheer, but boy, does it elevate. Look at that. Woo! That goes so well with the sterling, don't you think? But you could easily just paint this whole jar sterling. And it, you know, it looks all, just all like one piece, like it's soldered on there. Look at that. Oh, oh, now I'm in love. Now I'm in love. Oh my goodness, that's gorgeous. <laughs> now, now I will relish it, Betty. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about with this white sand. It's, uh, it is magical. It's so magical. And that just did the trick. We kept on until we made it work, y'all. How about that? I hope y'all feel like I finally made it work. I'm kind of liking it. I'm thinking that looks pretty darn cool for our first attempt at this. Go on and hit the, and wait till you see, you know the, the um, knob I'm going to use and how that's going to just kind of pull it all together. There we go. Fun. Cheap and cheerful, right? Sometimes we want to, like I was saying in our private group, if you're working on a, a piece of, you know, artwork that's going to be displayed in someone's home or, or they're buying it, so it's forever kind of thing, you want to use your best quality um, supplies. You want to use your good decor gel and, and everything. When you're experimenting um, on things like this, trash to treasure, start out with, you know, what you've got and um, play with it first. That's what I always do. All right. I do need to hit that because I want to get the knob out. Thank you, Glenn. Oh, I'm so glad, Gloria. I, I want to bring y'all ideas. That's what it's all about. It made all the difference, didn't it, Lori? Thank you, Kathy. Thanks, Teresa. Yeah, um, don't settle. You know, I thought I wanted it white with the black showing through. It's not to say I won't um, try it again, but I won't use that paint. It's too thick. So I learned that today. Um, I may try it with a crackle medium instead of glue next time and see how that does. So I learned a lot just by playing today. And don't, you know, when you go in your craft room and you wonder how something's going to work with something else, don't wonder. Just try it and you'll learn. You know, you've got to try. That's the way I have figured out which paintbrushes I like for what and a million other things is to try it out. Now, this isn't quite dry, but just so y'all can see. Is that? I gotta get, try to get a money shot without. We're just gonna glue that right on the top. How's that? Is it kind of fun? Jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. Thank you for the hearts, y'all. I always have to get that money shot. So we have a decent. Um, thumbnail, right? <laughs> Let me see if I can, I'm going to do a little B7000 and some hot glue. Thank y'all. Oh, I'm so glad we made it. We did it. It was rough for a few minutes there, but we did it. And now I want to, um, 
going to do some more. In fact, I, I got some really cool shaped bottles in the Target dollar spot before Christmas. And um, there's three of them that are really awesome shapes. So I may try. I didn't want to experiment on them because I don't know if Target will have those again, you know. So uh, that'll be a project one day. There's our little knob. I got a box of these. Uh, on Amazon, you can you could um, put um, a little mold, make a cute little medallion mold, and put on the top, and then put this in the middle. That's a fun thing. I've done that on some of them. But there we go. Ta-da! She's just a sweet little little jar now. I might tie a little ribbon, you know, something. Oh, sorry, y'all. I know if you've got to go, but. What about some sorry silk? What if we just... <gasps> oh my goodness. Let's, I'm playing. I'm still playing. You could do um, a necklace around here. Of course, I would cut that off. But, you know, I mean, experiment. Yeah, I might put some, you could put some pearls around there. Hang them from around the top if you wanted to. Get creative. Oh, and that just came right off. Nothing? <laughs> Nothing? We'll try that again. Beads, I think so. Penny, I, th I like the idea of beads. I've got a cute old um, necklace that I found in a... Where did I find that? I don't know, an antique store or something? And, uh, yeah, it'll probably go around a jar. Bridal pearls. That'd look really good, Gwen. <laughs> yeah, oopsie. <laughs> I have to do something like that at least once every live. I had so much fun, y'all. Thanks for hanging out with me and uh, trusting me to try to do something new like that. Yeah, I've got a... I, I get too impatient, Betty. I'm just going to leave it alone for a while, and then I'll, I will uh, put the knob back on it and maybe drape some something pretty around it to take a picture to show y'all. But more than anything, I hope this gave you some ideas. You know, you know what not to do. So, but this little piece turned out good, didn't it? Y'all are so sweet. Thanks for hanging out with me. Um, <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm going to be back on Sunday, but I won't be at my usual time. I think I'm on at 2. Uh, I believe it's at 2 o'clock Sunday. And at the end, uh, we are going to, um, it's called Crafting for Cash. Um, the premise Terry has, and I love it, is to start the new year off. She wanted the creators um, in it to start the new year off with prosperity. So we create something in that hour and at the last, at the very end, we auction it off if anybody wants it. Just kind of a, kind of like eating your black eyed peas, I guess. And I just thought that was the, the most awesome idea for us. And um, I already have figured out what I'm gonna do and I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, yeah. Retire to your studios. Right, Gwen? Have a great evening, y'all. I love you. Bye.